Okay, so in today's Retro Bat setup guide, we are taking a look at Flash games. So if any of you remember around the early to mid 2000s, Flash games were very, very popular on web browsers, even on phones at that time. And people started creating new retro looking games, such as Sonic the Hedgehog, as you can see here playing, and various other games, say, of the 80s and 90s. And some of these Flash games were just amazing. The sound in them was really good, and the visuals was really good as well. So the the problem is with flash games nowadays is that we can no longer play these in web browsers anymore since Adobe Flash support is long since gone. So today we're going to get you up and running playing these and where you can get these games from in this Retrobat setup guys so check this one out. <laughs> Before I start today's setup guide, if you like what you see today, hit the notification, subscribe and like so you don't miss upcoming Retro Bat emulation content as well as many other forms of retro emulation content that I cover here on my channel, just Jamie. So we're looking at Flash Ends today in Retro Bat and trust me, if I knew how good some of these Flash games were, I would have did this a long time ago. So what is Flash? Uh, Flash were essentially web browser games. Uh, we'd use conventional web browsers such as Google say, and we can no longer play Flash games using those browsers because support is gone in 2020. Luckily, there's archives around and we can revisit these Flash games. I'm gonna leave a link in my description for this website. This is Flashpoint Archive, and this is a project preserving all of those Flash games and let me just play you this video so you can get a good brief glimpse of what we got here. So there we go, and you can actually download the entire archive from the Flashpoint Archive website, and it's just under two terabytes, so it seems like a terrible storage space for some Flash games, but trust me, some of these games are just totally awesome. So I'm gonna leave the link and you can browse these for yourself. Uh, what I'm gonna do then is show you actually how to play these. So of course we're gonna open up Retrobat Shortcut and actually go into the file location of Retrobat. So right click Shortcut, open file location, and we're gonna go to Bat GUI. Now once we're in Bat GUI, if we just click on System List, 
and under system you're going to find flash now i'm always going to say this but if you don't see this drop down list then follow my fully comprehensive guide in getting that sorted for you it's quite likely you're missing visual c plus plus and a couple of other installation files required for retrobat so as we can see under extensions we're going to need our games for flash in swf we don't have any RetroArch course in this, so what this means is once we're inside a RetroBat, we're going to need to download the emulator itself, which is really simple. So if we just close this down for now and close down Bat UI, we're going to go to ROMs, and in ROMs, we're going to find the Flash folder, which is just here. Now, mine is empty, but what I've done is just downloaded a fair few games from the Flash Archive website I just showed you. And I'm going to just drag these .sw games into that Flash folder. So I've got 28 of them. Now, each game ranges from literally kilobytes. Some of them will go up to around 20 megabytes, so they're fairly small games. So if we just close this down, what we're going to do next is actually open up RetroBat. Okay, so once we're inside RetroBat, we're now going to find Adobe Flash Player. Now, of course, in the early 2000s, Adobe was very, very famous for things like Photoshop. So I used at college before going to uni for media studies. But we got Adobe Flash Player here, which is probably an icon a lot of you probably won't have on RetroBat. It's well worth it. So inside of here, what we're going to do first is see if we can get some artwork. So main menu, scraper and scrape now. So no games fit that criteria. So if this should happen, so you just go to scraper settings and you can play around with image source, box source, and the likelihood of getting artwork for these games is quite low uh, since I've got lots of numbers in this and that, so it's not gonna scrape too well. But anyways, what we're going to do is actually just take a look at the view options, advanced system options and emulator. So under emulator, we got arcade flash web and we got something called ruffle. What we're going to do is open up a game and we're going to let RetroBat automatically download and install the emulator for these. So I'm going to pick a random game. I'm going to choose. I'm going to randomly choose Battle Gear 2. At this point, it's going to say the emulator arcade flash web is not installed. Install now. Of course, we want to install this, so just press yes. Now, I've no idea what that game is about. It's just a random game I've chosen. Now, to play that, what I'm doing is using my keyboard and my mouse. If we go to View Options, Advanced System Options, we can then go to Create Pad to Key Profile, and we can set up to control games with our joypads or joy controller, whatever they're called nowadays. So to do this, if you require a game that you don't really want to play your keyboard with, then just go on to one of these just here under pad to keyboard configuration. If you just select that, then you can map out the keyboards to respond to your controller. So for example, if the game requires E in order to, I don't know, jump, then we can map that to something like A on an Xbox controller. And say we wanted a map down button, then we just go there and we find out which key for that game requires pushing it for your character in the game to go down. And we just select that. So it's that simple. Two games that particularly impressed me were Sonic the Hedgehog and Dogfight 2. Check out Sonic the Hedgehog. And as we can see, I can easily map out my controller here instead of playing around with a keyboard. So it tells us right at the start of this Ultimate Flash Sonic game uh, to move left and right. And we also got jump. So there's a few different buttons we can map out just there. So it's telling us that left and right cursors maybe on our keyboard move Sonic left or right, where jump is space. So if we I'm going to show you how to do this. So let's open up view options, advanced system options, edit pads to key profile. 
So to move Sonic left, what I'm gonna do is just use this key just here on the virtual keyboard. And for right, I'm gonna use the right cursor just here. And to make Sonic jump, I'm gonna map this to my south button and jump of course said spacebar. So if we just save these configurations just here and save back. Now, if we go into the game, technically this should now be working with my controller. If you're familiar with Sonic the Hedgehog games, you'll recognize that music. I'm pretty sure that music for that game was from Sonic the Hedgehog 3 on Mega Drive. So another one I want to show you is Dogfight 2. And that's it for today's Adobe Flash game and RetroBat setup guide. Like I said at the start of the video, if you like what you see today, hit notifications, subscribe and like so you don't miss upcoming RetroBat and various other emulation content that I cover here on my channel, Just Jamie. And also be sure to check out my new series of modern retro games. I've uploaded a few of these so far and they're pretty popular, so make sure to check those out. Also join me on social media. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter and TikTok. But until next time, Stay retro.